Uh, I have to tell you something really, really interesting and a little off the beaten path. I don't want to describe it as bizarre or, you know, but it was different. Just now happened at the White House. Uh, Matthew McConaughey, who you may or may not know from the Cadillac commercials. I don't know. I mean, I think, uh, you know, he's done a lot of work, but everybody understands the Cadillac commercials. They're just so strange. And so, uh, so Matthew McConaughey, they are just so unique. And apparently he is too, because he, A, is from Uvalde, Texas, small world. And, and so last week he was down in Uvalde visiting his old hometown, like Brett was at his old hometown this weekend. You know, uh, people like to go home. And they like to see where they grew up and they like to see that where they grew up is still there and doing well. Well, Matthew McConaughey had to go back to Uvalde and it's not doing well. It's grieving. It's torn asunder. It is ripped apart at the seams. And apparently this is so um, compelling to Matthew McConaughey that he decided to show up just now at the White House a Brady briefing room named after a gun violence victim. Yes, uh, you know, I mean, the, the world is just so perfectly round. It just never takes your, fails to take your breath away. But Matthew McConaughey just went to the Brady briefing room to address the press corps and the senators in the United States Senate. See, the House will pass gun reform legislation. The House has continually passed gun reform legislation. When you have a Democratic majority in the House, you can get gun reform passed every time, every single time. But because we have this weird government, you know, you think, um, you know, a no confidence vote for Boris over there was odd because you don't understand the parliamentary system. And how could his own party vote against him? How could his own party take him to the woodshed and vote no confidence in you, buddy? Uh, actually, they decided to leave him in place. But, you know, that seems odd. Think about our system. Our system is a system where... 98% of the people of the United States of America are for background checks. 60% of the people inside this here country think that gun violence is preventable and we ought to prevent it. Which means 40%, not of the country, of Republicans, which are 27% of the country. So 40% of 27% of this country think mass shootings are, quote, just something we have to accept as part of a free society. I don't know what part of free society is reflected by children cowering under their desks repeatedly in various places across these United States, but that's, uh, you know, something we could talk about. However, Matthew McConaughey does not believe we are as divided as we think we are. And he decided to do something today. He went to the Brady briefing room and first he recognized all of the 19 children who died. In the, the only way that Matthew McConaughey could. My day wore green high top converse with a heart she had hand drawn on the right toe because they represented her love of nature. Camilla's got these shoes. Can you show these shoes, please? Wore these every day. Green converse with a heart on the right toe. These are the same green converse on her feet that turned out to be the only clear evidence that could identify her after the shooting. How about that? <clears throat> I mean, it was it was from the gut. It really was from the gut. But this was the most important thing. This was an amazing portion. We heard from so many people, right? Families of the deceased, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, Texas Rangers, hunters, Border Patrol, and responsible gun owners who won't give up their Second Amendment right to bear arms. And you know what they all said? We want secure and safe schools, and we want gun laws that won't make it so easy for the bad guys to get these damn guns. So, we know it's on the table. We need to invest in mental health care. We need safer schools. We need to restrain sensationalized media coverage. We need to restore our family values. We need to restore 
our American values and we need responsible gun ownership. Responsible gun ownership. We need background checks. We need to raise the minimum age to purchase an AR-15 rifle to 21. We need a waiting period for those rifles. We need red flag laws and consequences for those who abuse them. These are reasonable, practical, tactical regulations to our nation, states, communities, schools, and homes. Responsible gun owners are fed up with the Second Amendment being abused and hijacked by some deranged individuals. These regulations are not a step back. They're a step forward for a civil society and, and the Second Amendment. Look, is this cure-all? Hell no. The people are hurting. Families are, parents are. And look, as is, is, is divided as our country is, this gun responsibility issue is one that we agree on more than we don't. It really is. It truly is. I, I, and, and then, you know, he, he actually uh, explained that he doesn't believe, and uh, neither do I, because when you look at the numbers, you see 40% of 27% believe that dead children are the price you pay for living in a free society. That is not a free society. You understand, dead children in schools are not a free society. That is a society where some people are free to terrorize school children where some people are free to terrorize entire neighborhoods, where some people are free to do violence to other people without checks on that terrorism.